हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम राजीव सर आई विल बी टीचिंग यू मैथ्स इन स्टैंडर्ड एट ए स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर थ्री स्क्वायर्स एंड स्क्वायर रूट्स पार्ट वन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट स्टडी अबाउट स्क्वायर्स इफ यू लुक एट द नंबर्स फोर नाइन सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी सिक्स इट इज ई वी सी दैट फोर इज रिटर्न एज टू इंटू टू नाइन इज रिटर्न एज थ्री इंटू थ्री सिक्सटीन इज फोर इंटू फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव इज फाइव इंटू फाइव इट इज ई एंड सो ऑन फॉर दीज नंबर्स आर नोन एज एक्सपायर नंबर्स so if we proceed in this manner we get 2 into 2 4 3 3 3 into 3 9 4 into 4 16 5 into 5 25 and so on so here is 4 9 16 25 36 it is these are called square numbers so these number numbers are also called perfect squares now students let us consider the following table which shows the squares of the first 20 natural number here now if we take number 1 1 square is 1 2 square is 2 to the 4 3 and when you take three number 3 three is a 9 4 16 5 25 6 36 7 7 is a 49 8 8 is a 64 and 9 81 so 10 10 is a 100 so this is a number and this is a square similarly when you a uh, square of 11 is 121 a square of 12 is 144 similarly you can proceed 20 square is 400 from the table of squares we can work out some properties for the square numbers next properties of the square numbers if we look at the square numbers all these numbers ends with 0 1 4 Five, six, or nine at one's place. That is, none of these ends with two, three, seven, or eight at one's place. So, but it doesn't mean that a number ends with zero, one, four, five, six, or nine will be a square number. So, you must be, re, must remember. It's very important. Next point: If a number <coughs> has one or nine in the one's place, then its square ends in one. See here. A square one number is one eighty one. One's digit is one, so it is nine nine is eighty one. So it is nine number one twenty one eleven 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 is one twenty one three sixty one. One's digit is one, so three sixty one number is nineteen four forty one number is twenty one. So thus from the one's digit of the number. we can determine the one's digit of its square also from the one's digit of the square number we can determine the one's digit of the number see here one's digit of a number zero one's digit of a square is zero zero is square zero and one or nine its one's digit of a square is one if you take one's digit of a number 2 or 8 it is 4 3 or 7 9 4 or 6 6 and 5 one's digit of a square is 5 let us uh, know talk about the squares of multiples of 10 uh, multiples of 10 that's uh, 10 square is 100 10 10 is 100 20 into 20 400 13 to 30 900 14 into 40 1600 similarly 50 multiplied by 50 it becomes 2500 and so on so hence the number of zeros at the end of a perfect square is always even next point the square of a number n can be expressed as the sum of the first n odd numbers for example 2 square is 4 you can write 1 plus 3 1 and 3 are the first two odd numbers first odd number is 3 and next odd number is first odd number is 1 and the next odd number is 3 so the at the first two odd number is written here similarly for 3 square is equal to 9 you can write 9 as first odd number is 3 second odd number is 
first sorry first odd number is 1 second odd number is 3 and third odd number is 5 so 1 3 5 are the first three odd numbers you can add you will get 9 1 plus 3 plus 5 it is equal to 9 next number 4 square is equal to 16 first odd number is 1 second odd number 3 third odd number 5 fourth odd number 7 when you add these numbers you get 16 so 1 3 5 and 7 are the first four odd numbers next is between the squares of a number n and n plus 1 there are exactly two n non perfect squares for example take n is equal to 1 then n plus 1 is equal to 2 between 1 square is equal to 1 2 square is equal to 4 therefore 2 into 1 is equal to 2 so numbers that is 2 and 3 which are non perfect squares Similarly, between 2 square is equal to 4, 3 square is equal to 9. So, there are 2 into 2 is equal to 4 non-perfect square numbers. So, these are non-perfect square number is 5, 6, 7 and 8. Next point, for any number n and its successor n plus 1, next n plus 1 plus n uh, is equal to n plus 1 whole square minus n square. That is the sum of two consecutive numbers is equal to the difference of their squares. For example, if you consider the number 1 and 2, so put it here, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and 2 square minus 1 square, 2 square is 4, 1 square is 1. When you subtract 4 minus 1 is equal to 3, so therefore 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 square minus 1 square, 2 to the 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Next point, product of any two square numbers is always a perfect square for example 3 square into 4 square 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 when you multiply both the numbers you will get 144 and 144 is equal to 12 square 12 into 12 that is 144 so it is written as 12 square next point a square of an odd number is always an odd number and a square of an even number is an even number you must remember students now I am solving some questions of let's practice 3.1 for you. Question number 1. Find the square of the following. See here. Question number 1. A. You have to find the square of the following. Question is 35. Then the square of 35 is you can write 35 to the power 2 whole square. 35 square is equal to 35 into 35. Multiply these two numbers, you will get 1, 2, 2, 5 after multiplication. This is your answer. Now, question number 2. Find the square of the following. I am solving question number 2a. 6 over 13. Find the square of 6 over 13. So you can write 6 over 13 whole square and then after you can write 6 into 6 two times 13 into 13 6 is the 30 here 36 6 is the 36 13 into 13 169 answer now see question number 3 look at the ones digit of the following numbers and find the numbers which cannot be perfect square and give regions. The, these are the following questions A, B, C, D and E. So look all the all these questions here clearly in uh, A 9859. The so once digit is odd number and this once digit is even number and this once digit is even number and in question number D. 1, 2, 9, 6, 1 digit is even number and in question number E, 1, 5, 4, 3, 1 digit is odd number. So, it is clearly you have to uh, give the reasons for the question number 3. D and C and E. B, C and E cannot be perfect square. B, C and E cannot be 
perfect square because there last digit or once digit ends with eight and three which cannot be perfect square square of any digit so this is the reason now next question is four the square of which of the following numbers would be an odd number and which will be an even number c question each question a is 231, B is 42, C is 107, D is 50,910, that means 50910 and 1565. So, see here, you have to also in this question, you, have, you must give the reasons behind it. A square of the flowing numbers would be an odd number and which, which will be an even number. So, you can write question number 4. A, C and E will be the square of odd numbers and B and D will be square of an even number now next question is question number 5 express the following numbers as a sum of consecutive odd numbers so here is a question a b c d and e i am solving a and b for you question number 5 a and question is 9 you have to write sum of consecutive odd numbers so you can write one first odd number second odd number is 3 and third odd number is 5 add these numbers 1 3 4 4 and 5 9 answer question number b 16 right here Consecutive odd number, first odd number 1, next odd number 3, next odd number 5, next odd number 7. Now add these numbers, you will get 16. 3, 1, 4, 5, 4, 9, 9, 7, 16. Answer. Now, this is, next question is 6. Write the ones digit of the squares of the following number and questions are here a b c d and e so i am solving question number 6 a and b for you 6 a write the ones digit of the squares of the following numbers 2 1 7 2 so here ones digit is 2 when you square ones digit of the squares of the following the 2 square is 4 so answer is 4 Question number B. 9, 0, 1, 5. Now, once digit is 5, a square of 5 is 25, and the once digit is 25 is 5. So, answer is 5. Now, question number 7. How many zeros will be there in the squares of the flowing numbers? And the questions are A, B, C, D, and E is here. E are here. Uh, question number 7A. hundred. So, see here. 
how many zeros will be there in the space of the following here two zero and the square of two zero is four so answer is four question number b nine one zero question is nine one zero and the ones digit of the square of the given number nine one zero ones digit is zero is the one to one square so here is zero uh, ones digit is one so it is of a square is equal to answer now next question is question number eight how many non perfect square numbers lie between the following the question number a squares of three and four and solving question number a eight a squares of three and four so you first square three square and four square three square is nine and four square is sixteen and now uh, we have to uh, write non perfect square numbers lie between the following the so between the following is are uh, uh, 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 count this number 1 2 3 4 5 6 therefore 6 is answer now i am solving last question of this Practice 3.19. Without adding, find the following sums. 9a. Question is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11. So, count this number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, total number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 square is equal to 36. When you add these numbers, you will get 36. This is the answer. Now, next question is 9b is here. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 count these numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that means 10 square and 10 square is 100 answer now refer to the question which is given on the Tenno app as a homework thank you